All right, uh, these are the things that you're gonna need for today's language uh, arts lesson. Um, you're gonna need notebook number three and a pencil. Optional would be some colored pencils maybe, or like some crayons, but um, I would leave that until the very end. I don't want you doing anything with color until everything is done with a pencil, okay? Um, we are actually, for the very first time, going to use the language tab in our notebook. So just to show you, Um, here's the ELA uh, bell ringers, the writing, and we have language, okay? It's the one before our glossary. So you should have several pages, and the very first page you're going to write on is the one that has the tab that says language, okay? Um, on the first page, you're going to copy this, so you can go ahead and pause so that you can copy that. And then on the back please copy this. Try your best to make it um, look like that. Make sure you're leaving room. These are gonna be some word maps we're going to make. Um, so again, you can pause that. Uh, this says usually. You can pause that and then copy it down and then come back. All right, so we had a word for our bell ringer. It was economy. And I told you, I just want to put that I was going to talk about those special like letters. Remember this from our bell ringer? And I said I, I made that, I had you wait till you filled the, the U out and the Y because they make sounds that aren't typical with those, those letters. So the first one that I want to talk about is why this O is going to give us a short U sound. Now, um, when I give you a rule about language, it's not always, um, it can be broken sometimes, okay? But typically, a short U sound will be spelled with the letter O if it um, comes before the letter V, the letter N, or the letter t letters TH. There can be other letters where you hear a short U sound um, but most often, it will be in this case. So I want to start to branch off on this web with some of our words where we hear a um, short U sound. So the first one we can put on there is obviously economy. So econa, neat, and I'm going to underline that where we hear it, okay? You can also hear that in the word love. We hear uh, uh, and it comes before the V. Okay. This is actually kind of a, a rule breaker anyways. Um, we didn't mention M, but it happens. Um, another one that actually comes before the word or the letter M would be come. Uh, done. Month comes before we see we hear m a uh, n. Uh, we hear what about brother? So br a. Uh. So we hear the th. Um, Monday. Sound comes before the N. Uh, shovel. What I want you to do is add more words to this. What else can you come up with? And if you're having trouble, feel free. You can, you know, look online. You can ask um, someone at home what other words they know that have the uh sound, that short U sound, but it's spelled with an O. I'd love for you, I want you to add to this list. So add some things to your list, okay? Next in that word economy was the ending, okay? So we're gonna make a web of uh, words that have sounds made by the Y endings. We have two different sounds that we typically hear. We have a long I, so sometimes when a word ends with the letter Y, we hear it as I, or like economy, we hear it as a long 
E. The parts that I have in orange are not a firm rule that never gets broken. But normally, um, at least with the words that you're gonna start to, that you started seeing, um, a long I sound will happen if the word has one syllable. But we are gonna talk about some non-examples or some rule breakers. So for example, the word cry or fly, uh, buy, um, sly. Those are one syllable words and we hear in a long I sound with the Y. Okay. Some non-examples, we've actually seen some of these um, in our social studies lessons, we have satisfy. So I hear a long I sound, but this is definitely more than a one syllable word, okay? We have a, i, i for our three vowel sounds. This is gonna be a three syllable word. We've been seeing the word identify. I hear a long I. What about the word multiply? So these are some non-examples, some rule breakers. Like I said, it's not always the case, but kind of when in doubt, usually the I sound will be at, um, at the end of a one syllable word. Um, a long E sound is usually gonna come after, or gonna happen when a word has two or more syllables. So our one example would be economy. We know it's a four syllable word. We have army. Every. Uh, family. Lady. What I want you to do now for this page is come up with some words, other words, uh, that you could add to the list where it ends in a Y, but we hear long E. Add to the list, can you think of other words where it ends in a Y, but we hear a long I? And then can you add to the non-examples or the rule break breakers? Okay, can you find a multiple syllable word where it ends with a Y, but we actually hear long E? I'm sorry, we hear long I? I want you to add to this, okay? When I told you that you guys could um, use coloring uh, pencils or um, crayons, really what I was doing is or saying is that if you wanted to make it kind of colorful like mine is, where there's, you know, you make webs kind of look a little bit different, then you can sort of shade in, but do not take away from you being able to read what you wrote, okay? All right, that is a, a language lesson that stems from our word of the week of economy. And yes, I want to see your webs with words that you add to it.